Oh, yeah. hello. Hi, hey, Stephen, I'm sending from uh, Vantage Point Video. Cool. And uh, so we're going to have a go of the uh, Volkswagen Golf. We are. Very good. This is a, a 40 kilowatt car. Yeah, uh, 38. 38, right. Uh, 30, 36. And what kind of uh, range does that have then? Uh, realistic is our WLTP. Mm -hmm. WLTP. Yeah. It's 230. 230. If you want to see what this is like to accelerate, feel yeah, free to I'll put your glass there. We've got a good chance there. That's very strong. Stephen, what's the uh, the interface with the regenerative braking on this? Do I have? So uh, at the moment, you see your power needle. You can mm -hmm. see you're using power. Yeah. If you brake, you will gain power back. Yeah. However, we're not in any D modes or drive modes at the moment. Okay. So if I put you into drive mode one, when you take your foot off, now it started to regen a bit. It'll regen. Yeah. If I put you into two, mm -hmm. it'll regen more. We turn left here. Right? Okay. And this, oh yeah, so this is the car that you you move the yeah. paddle to the side. To kind of to use more uh, regen if you want, yeah. and then back again. And if I put you into you're in two at the moment. If yeah. I put you in three, if yeah. you take your foot off, it'll be more severe, and the brake lights will turn on as well. Will that and that light, will that actually bring it to a halt eventually? Will yes. Is there a sharper one than that? Yes, there yeah. is the max one. These are kind of like the driving modes. Yeah. I drive it myself in D1. Yeah. Because it's the nicest for me in town. Driving D2, D3 as well. Yeah. But if you want in town as well, you can put it into B. So that's the most brake. Yeah, so that, that'll actually roll up to, so like that, when you come up to a pedestrian crossing or something like that, yeah. so you can actually come down to that's, a stop. That's the, the kind of one pedal driving yeah. uh, mode. Makes sense. Yeah. So that's doing all of that in normal mode. So we're in normal drive mode at the moment, but if you put it into Eco mm -hmm. or Eco Plus, you're, then basically your aircon turns off and your power is limited. Okay. So when in normal Eco, that's on the motorway I drive in just normal Eco, mm -hmm. so Eco, uh, it limits your top speed to 120. Yeah. In Eco Plus, um, it limits your top speed to 95. Where am I getting the information now about which modes? Is that come up on this screen? Or? Yeah, it yeah. will. So you're in B at the moment. If yeah. you want to go back to D, just pull it down and we'll tell you there. It'll tell you here oh, first, yeah, sorry, yeah. But, uh, and we're turning left, sorry. Yeah, if you can. I'll let him go first. That's where you need to be to be sometimes. <laughs> But you're still in D3, so to go back to D1, just pull it towards oh. you. Then. It's nice to have a few options. I find, uh, you know, long downhill um, in my own car. I've only got two modes, and uh, um, I find the the normal eco mode is too harsh that you run out of momentum. Yeah. Uh, so you actually have to end, you end up applying power going downhill. Uh, so I go actually into the non the normal drive mode, and it's still getting a little bit of regen. So for reverse, I'm going. And then you get a camera uh, as well. Yeah. And watch them. Okay. Okay, that's <laughs> uh, so then P, park. If you pull and park. And, and then. Or you I could probably have, didn't have to do that. No, you could have just, could have just turned that off. Yeah. Great stuff. Thanks a million for that. Cheers. No